Welcome to the Star Drop-In. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to start you off? Come back any time. Welcome to the Star Drop. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Come back any time. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. For some time now, it was said that the false sovereign was recovering from his battle wounds. But as I hear it, he is now well enough to walk unaided. And so, in honor of his supposed valor, they have been holding masquerade in the palace of late. The false sovereign's identity is still beyond our ken. Even the matter of from where he hails remains a mystery. But may up approaching the false sovereign at one of these gatherings could afford you a glimpse into the man behind the mask. What say you, your majesty? Might I ask this task of you? My thanks. Some of the sentries posted at the masquerades are under my command. I shall have them ease security. So pray, slip into the venue through whatever opening presents itself. Once your infiltration is successful, you will need only don a mask and act the part of an invitee. Few will think to be wary if they believe you a fellow masquerader. Here, this should suffice to help you blend in. Take care, your majesty. Ah, there is one other thing. Masquerades being as they are, you will require suitable raiment. Much is made of appearances at such gatherings and twould be wisest to dress the part when joining the other revelers. It seems you must attend a palace masquerade if you were to meet the one who would falsely claim a title. It would seem we the need to visit the palace. Pawns are forbidden from entering the castle grounds, but we may accompany you to the entrance. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. I overheard some of the... ...soldiers standing guard outside the palace, discussing a curious rumour. Oh, did it pertain to the Queen Regent and an important personage, perchance? Indeed. Some suppose there is more to her relationship with this Batali dignitary than is publicly known. I shall return.
Here we are. We're here, Master. I must ask you to comport yourself with the utmost civility while you are within the Masquerade Hall. Hmm. You're far from your station, are you not? There's to be more... Restrictions on goods traded with Matar. Anyway. Well now, you're What is it? Has something happened? Uh, we have it on good authority that a suspicious individual passed through here. In here. Open up. You're dressed rather austerely for a patron. My humblest apologies, Lady Wilhelmina. We've had reports of an unseemly character in the vicinity, you see, and... Preposterous. I was out front till but a moment ago, and I did not see so much as a shadow. Be that as it may. You are excused. Leave this place. Ere you invite our noble host's wrath upon yourself, I will summon you if aught is amiss. Pray forgive the intrusion. And what business... Have you here in the nobles' playground? Hmm? You've the face of someone in search of a juicy morsel. Would you be looking for this, perchance? Come on, then. Keep pouring. Do you take me for some green lad who can't handle his cups? I'm your damned king, and a king deserves royal treatment. <laughs> <laughs> of course, your majesty. Tell us, your majesty, would you prefer more drink, or shall we find some other way to amuse ourselves? <laughs> aye, aye. Let's change things up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I believe I cautioned you to keep your drunken revelry in check. Lest you forget, these celebrations of your valor are but a pretense for more serious matters. I, I know. I do. It's just I get the poison in me and things happen is all. <laughs> you need only serve as our false king until Sven becomes consul. Till then, however, you would do well to remember that your role demands a certain degree of dignity. I trust you understand your position, your majesty. 
Sunday. I, I mean, I. As you say, I'll, I'll go and sober up. Why not remove yours as well? This is not the masquerade hall. And we now find ourselves quite alone. What say we dispense with such pretenses and speak openly with one another? Lord Phasus. That will do. If you're discovered, yours won't be the only head that rolls. What is your purpose here, I wonder? If you came to learn of the Sovereign, then tis as you have seen. The man is not but a ale-swilling pretender propped up by the Queen Regent. Of course, that begs the question. If he's a mere mummer, then where might our true arisen be? You'd best go. I'll do what I can to help you make your escape. Come see me in my bordelry, when e'er you're so inclined. I'll instruct my attendants to send you straight to me. Time's wearing on. So this is where you were, Master. I searched high and low for you. Our party... ...is reunited. Surely we can ask for no more than that? much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Well, well. He is merely Deesa's puppet then. Tis likely that he knows naught of her schemes. Even were he to be removed, I suspect some other would simply be made to take his place. But if there's aught that compels my attention, test this other man you mention. Phasus, was it? He seems a man of import, and yet, I have never heard of him. Pray, allow me to investigate this matter further. You've done well, Your Majesty. Thank you. Sovereign, Queen Regent Deesa, and this Faces fellow are all working together. Quite the sordid trio, eh? That's odd. We're here, Master. <laughs> 